for a bed biscuit. Well, I started fostering puppies during the pandemic and when I was teaching at home. And when we came back to the classroom, I just kept thinking of all the wonderful benefits that they could bring to the whole school. And so when I finally got permission to bring them in, we use them for basically my class for like we read to them and we learn about you know responsibility and take care of animals. In return, we're providing them a nice safe environment to like learn and grow along with us while they wait for their forever families. These puppies come from Rags to Riches Animal Rescue. They are six and a half weeks old. We have um, Gamma and Major. I use the puppies in small group settings. Um, a lot of times with the older children, we can sit around and they can talk while still have the comfort of the puppies. You can see how they lay in the children's lap and comfort the children if they're feeling a heightened sense of emotions or they need to regulate themselves or their emotions. They're, the puppies make it very easy to, for them to do so. <laughs> I think that the puppies should be here because um, they keep people happy and I like that because I don't like people being sad. I like them being happy. Kendall, do you want some treats? We've actually um, have had 13 puppies in our classroom this year. And some stay for a day or two before they get adopted. Um, these guys, because they're so young, will stay for two weeks. We actually had some families in the school already adopt some of our puppies, and we're hoping to expand it even more. If like someone's already having like a bad day on the bus already when it's like the morning, just seeing a puppy walking can make their day really better.